Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Welcome back to Worth Guitars. It's good to talk to you guys again. I hope everyone is having a great week out there. We're going to start trying to do these videos once a week. So that's my new goal. There's plenty of stuff going on here. I just got to take the time to set the camera up and film it and talk to you guys for a few minutes. So let me clue you on what we're doing today. Today we are taking a piece of olive burl that I've already resawn and sanded. It's very similar to this. Right here, olive burl, very pretty piece of wood. I'm going to put a join in it using the CNC machine so that we get a really nice tight glue joint like this piece of maple right here that we have glued up. This is the top for Gary Hammond's new build. Gary Hammond's getting a single cutaway. This is his mahogany. Some nice African mahogany, and this will be the cap for the single cutaway build. We've already got that one glued together, We're trying to do two builds at once, sometimes three. We're actually doing we're actually doing three at a time right now because we have Les Mosley's bass in there, the five string bass, which I'm gonna bring out here and work on while that's doing its thing. Because I just gotta sand the neck in a little, drill some holes for the headstock and then its final sanding, maybe a little shaping here and there. Sometimes after I hold it for a while and look at it, I think maybe I should refine this and refine that a little. So we'll see how that goes. But that's where we're at. And I said all that really fast, but that's what we're getting ready to do. We're going to try to do that and try to do it as efficiently as possible. So let's get to work. I'm going to get this thing rolling. I've already got it set up and ready to go. I'm just going to let it do its thing. It's going to get a little noisy. So we'll just turn that down in the video. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go grab that other base, and we'll start getting to work on it, and I'll show you how that turned out. That signature block. Remember the signature block from last week? Okay, well now that's been placed where it needs to go in the fretboard and sanded. The frets are in and all that, so you'll get to see how that looks when it's all done. All right, so stay with me. I'll be right back. Here we go. Okay, that was nice and fast. Got a nice clean joint 
I like to take and run a router bit right straight through the two pieces. And that creates a very nice joint where those two pieces go exactly right back together. I'll show you that in just a second. I wanted to finish. I leave a little bit of wood on either side of the fretboard when I do these so that I can bring the neck down exactly to the back of the fretboard. Just in case something moves just a little bit. I have pins in the, in the fretboard and in the neck. So when you're gluing it, it doesn't slide around. You know how when you're trying to glue something together, two surfaces. They want to slip because of hydraulic pressure. So I have pins in them to keep it from doing that. But you never know when you put clamps on something what it's going to do, really. So I leave a little extra width on the neck. And I can just bring the neck back down. The fretboard is the exact width that I actually want the neck to be. It's been cut to the exact width. And then I make the neck just slightly larger, 32nd on each side. And all I got to do is just round that back over onto the width of the neck, of the fretboard, I mean, I mean to say. And then all I got to do is just take this cool little dragon rasp and do this for a few minutes. And that brings it back where it's really close. Then you can take a nice sharp scraper and take that little that little fuzz right off of it, like that. These little micro shavings. I don't know if you can see them coming off, but it's just little micro shavings like this that come off, right? So you get really, really close like that. And then you just take a piece of sandpaper, you know, obviously, and finish it up like that. It only takes a few minutes. And then it's ready for final sanding. So that still needs just a little bit more right in through here. You take it to where you just start, taking it down to where I just start to see a little bit of the ebony start to peel, you know, from the edge of the scraper, and then I know I'm there. Don't go any further than that. All right? And then I know that. The maple and the ebony are at the same plane. So I got that side. Do the other side real quick. I'm going to show you how that looks. And we'll be good to go. All right, so we'll speed this up. We'll get her done. Okay, here we go. Show you guys how this fret bird, fret bird, show you how the fret bird, I don't think that's what I was going for right there. Fret board turned out. But I wanted to get that done first. There's still a small amount of shaping right there, a little flat spot. I take this scraper, start out at an angle, scraping, and then slowly turn it. So it's like you're going around, imagine going around a round rod. Slowly turning it while you're scraping it. And you get a nice, clean, round cut. Like that. Okay, that's good. I'll show you how this looks. You hear the noise in the background? My videos are kind of noisy because I have things running. There's a pump running in the background. Hold on one second. There, that's a little bit better. And sometimes I have the I have an overhead um, dust filter right up here. You can't see it to try to keep the dust out of the air and out of the, you know, out of my lungs as much as possible. So here we are. You remember the signature plate? Well, there it is inlaid into the ebony. And of course the rest of the inlay is done. Number 33, which is a sacred number to Mr. Mosley. 
and you can see there's uh, some holes missing in the headstock, but we'll get them in there. You know, I tell myself just about every time I do a build, drill the holes in the headstock, in the neck, before I glue the neck into the body. And I can't seem to get that to happen because I get so excited once the fretboard is on that I just want to get it glued into the body. And this has been, you know, a very challenging build. This build is a lot different than any build I've done so far. In that the neck runs through the body, but it doesn't come all the way out of the back. You see that? You saw this on the other video, I'm sure, if you've been watching. But that is the neck right there. You see it inside there and there? There's the back of the neck. See how that goes in and it comes out over there. So that neck runs all the way through. And we cut into it about an eighth of an inch for the pickups. Luckily, we didn't have to go too deep into the neck blank itself. Do you see inside there? Right there? That's the depth that we cut into the neck blank. So we didn't lose hardly any mass of the neck blank itself, which is very cool, I think. Because now we know that that, that piece of wood, those three pieces of wood, because it's laminated for strength, you want a good strong neck, got five strings yanking on this thing, plus uh, Les is aggressive when he plays, and so this thing's gotta be right. It cannot be all weak and, and uh, ready to fall apart. It's gotta kick ass, and that's what we're shooting for. So there we are on that thus far. See how that molds all around inside there? That's pretty nice, huh? You get a really nice access up inside there, all the way down, all the way down to that 22nd fret. Very nice, easily reached. Got some very nice pickups going in here. We got some sanding to do on the carve top. It's got a cool carved top on it. A little bit of sanding to do. Well, there's a lot of sanding to do, and I gotta drill some holes, and I gotta drill the hole for the for the jack plate because sometimes I forget that too. But that's where we're at. But before we go any further, talking about this base, which you'll get to see a little further here after we get it down the road, and that's pretty, isn't it? V it looks like V's, but they are actually less than symbols, right? And the very cool signature plate once once again. You know, that's, that's a very cool thing. The first one we did like this is in Chris Johnson's guitar. One of our first guitars, Chris Johnson owns. And he wanted a signature plate and he got one. But at that time, I had to buy them from other people. We don't have to do that anymore. We do them here now. And that's a very cool thing. We can do whatever inlay you need done. I like that a lot. But let me get this olive top over here and show you what we did so we can get it glued up. And then I think we'll call it a day, okay? Uh, as far as the video goes. I won't call it a day. I got to keep working. You guys can go goof off. All right, hold on. I'll be right So I'm trying to get the face as flush as I can because I don't want to do a lot of sanding to the face. We'll take any sanding we need as much as we can off the back because we don't want to mess up the book, the book match part of it. I think we got it. Right.
think that's all the pressure we need right there. Get a little bit of that excess glue off. A trusty glue removal tool. Old putty knife I found at a yard sale. It used to be a real putty knife, right? And I forget what happened to it anyway. It ended up getting cut off. I had to make a special purpose tool or something. And now it's my glue removal tool. Always remove the majority of the glue before it dries, especially on something like this. You try to scrape it off, that glue is gonna pull chunks of wood off. You don't want that to happen. But you don't want to smear the wet glue all over the top of your board either, unless you plan on planing it down, because it will get down into the grain of the wood. You don't want that. Oh man, this is gonna be so pretty. Just from getting it wet, Man, it's going to be awesome. All right, that top is glued together. Okay. That was our goal today for the video. We got that done. So congratulations to us. All right. I'm going to go work on some other stuff. I already said my goodbyes, but I thought I might want to talk to you one more time before I got out of here. You guys be sure to subscribe, tell your friends, click the like button, all that good stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll go get to work. Worth guitars, you guys be good to each other out there, okay? We'll see you soon, very soon, next week.